The old way of doing frequency separation, you were really limited to only the areas that were inside any hard edge. The old way had lots of halo issues, creating different shapes on your product. In fact, it was pretty much unusable on product. It was only usable on skin. I've created a process that allows us to really dial in those levels of detail. The way it differs from everything else is I've really expanded the workflow. I've incorporated lots of other tools and layers and ideas that we can add into our frequency stack. Now I'm trying to present it in a way that is easy to understand, that opens people's eyes to all of its potential. It's usage on product and textile and texture, any kind of materials, that's where the magic starts happening. That's the difference with this process, is we're not focused on skin and beauty and all the things that frequency separation is traditionally used on. It's about how you use frequency separation on everything else, and I mean everything. I've been working for years now trying to break it, trying to find out when it doesn't work, and I haven't found that yet. What you're gonna be learning is not only how to create it, but more importantly, it's gonna be what you can do with it. I'm gonna show you how to use the same process to fix all sorts of problems. Process is the same, the thinking is the same. You're gonna see how easy it is to reconstruct parts of an image. Once you start understanding it, everything becomes so much easier and you produce such a higher quality product than you've ever been able to before.